What is happening guys, Archizel here and welcome to another video Archies, I hope you guys are having a great day. Before we begin, shout out to Mary for this artwork that I received when I was still in Fort Hood, Texas. And also to, hold up, hold up, to Taryn for this artwork of the Statue of Liberty. It was on a disc, or not a disc, you, what do you call this? I forgot what do you call this, a plaque, a placa? I don't really know how you call it in English, I forgot. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. Can't imagine how you guys are even able to do this because I have no skills when it comes to art. And look at that. Red, white, and blue in the back, and a few letters that I got when I was still in Fort Hood. Remember, I had a P.O. box. So let me know, guys, Archies, if you want to open up a P.O. box so I can receive artworks or letters or questions or if you're in basic you just want to send stuff to me even if you're overseas deployed so you can share your stories answer your questions or just give you tips and advice and like what I said all these artworks are gonna be in the background sometime really soon I'm just trying to figure out which part of this house am I gonna use to actually film my videos so with that said on to the main topic of the video which is sneaking in girls or sneaking in people in the barracks we all know this if you are a single soldier if you are a geo bat if you're enlisted most likely you are going to be living in the barracks the barracks isn't really that bad sometimes you'll have a shitty barracks sometimes you'll have a good barracks sometimes you'll have a roommate and sometimes you will not have a roommate share a bathroom or sometimes you don't share a bathroom but if you're in the air force they don't even call it barracks they call it dorms Hashtag airboy. Once again, to start off the story, this happened when I was in Vilsack, Germany between 2011 to 2014. I believe I was still a PFC, a brand new PFC, a brand new soldier in the army, less than three months in, and I got tagged for CQ. The FNG gets all the details, and I think it was on a weekend. It was on a Saturday. Great day, perfect day to have CQ. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what CQ is, I basically I made a video about that when I was in Fort Hood, Texas, but it's basically you're on watch. You're usually on the hallway or like a little desk somewhere in the barracks and you're an extension of your commander, your first sergeant. You're the one who's in charge of that barracks. If something happens, you have to call staff duty, call the ambulance. If someone gets hurt, call medical support, call the MPs. Basically, you're there to take care of the soldiers that lives in the barracks. Not gonna lie, it's not an easy task because it's really, really boring. Some units do it every 12 hours, but most unit does it for a whole 24 hour shift and you just take turns. The NCO and the runner, sometimes you'll be lucky and have two runners to switch off so you can rotate when you have to eat or something. So there I was, I was with my female NCO. She was also a medic, she was pretty cool. She's out of the army now, Sergeant Cordes. If you're, for some reason, you're gonna be watching this, you're pretty cool, I hope you're doing great. And I think you're a veterinarian now. Or you were a veterinarian before you even joined the army, but hi, hello. So we were doing like checks. Usually around midnight or a certain time of the day when you're doing CQ, charge of quarters, you have to check, you know, the rooms, make sure it's all locked to make sure no one goes in, no one goes out, you know, nothing gets stolen. It's just for security purposes. So we were doing our checks, you know, just the regular, everything was locked, everything was good to go, but somewhere in the far right corner, we saw a female German chick come out of the barracks with a soldier. I personally didn't know, she didn't know my NCO. We both didn't know how that female local German national got into the barracks. And it was like past midnight, it was like really late. So we were wondering like how in the hell or how in the world did this soldier sneak that female in? Obviously in the barracks you can have females and males but usually this is what happens. Let's say just an example, the left wing will be all males and the right wing will be all females. You know how you have to segregate because you don't want them mixing because it's just going to be a setup for failure. People filing sharp complaints, you know, like you just don't want to be in that predicament. So my NCO confronted that soldier like, who is that female? Who is that German national? And she looks like she was like really young. Who is that? inside your room my nco turned on that nco switch and started like you know kind of like questioning the soldier talking in a louder voice and if you actually know her in real life the nco i was talking about she rarely does that and i haven't seen her like that the soldier was basically being defensive like oh i didn't know or playing like the dumb soldier or i don't know that you're not allowed to but here's the deal if you're in the male barracks it doesn't even matter if you're in the army most of the time, you're not really allowed to have females or you have to look at the SOP for this one, don't quote me. But usually there's visiting hours. Again, just an example, past 10 p.m., you cannot have anyone in your barracks room besides yourself or your roommate or whoever is supposed to be living in that barracks room. Because if you have someone in there past the curfew, 
you are gonna get in trouble. It was kind of funny watching them fight or, you know, yelling at each other. I know for a fact though that that soldier who sneaked in that female in that room was wrong. 100% wrong because you're not allowed to do that. Again, that's a setup for failure because there's a lot of situations when you sneak in someone who's a foreign national and then complaints of rape, complaints of like sexual harassment comes up. All the soldiers, all the service members are gonna look bad in that duty station, especially if you are overseas. You've heard that so many times on the news. So please, if you're a brand new soldier, if you're a soldier right now, follow the protocol, follow the SOP. Don't get in any stupid shit like that because it's just gonna end your career. Yes, you might have fun for that night, but just don't do it. It's not worth it. Oh, and also, do not do it if you're married and you're a geobat. It doesn't matter. If you're a geographical bachelor, you are married and you're not supposed to do that. That's considered adultery. Fast forward to the end of the story. The female was actually out of the barracks. They were able to get a cab, bring her back home, but that soldier got in trouble and then the next day he was dealt with with his chain of command. It's just pretty crazy. Don't be in that situation. It was kind of funny if you were actually there because the soldier was trying to defend himself so much like, I didn't know. Uh, come on, Sergeant. Come on, Sergeant. We're, we're cool, right? We're cool, right? We were downrange together. You're not like that, Sergeant. Well, it doesn't work like that because if your shit gets in trouble, it's your ass and my ass. So if I was in the same situation, I would have done the same thing. It's just not worth it. Remember that. Oh, you'll be surprised though what you'll find in the barracks. There's a lot more stories about this. Let me know if you want to hear more. But I, I know stories where someone stabbed someone. They found a chicken in the barracks. They found a pet in the barracks. They found a baby in the barracks. There's a lot more. So let me know if you want to hear more of my stories. My question to you guys is if you were in that situation, if you have been in the barracks at some point in your army career or maybe even a dorm, What's the craziest story that you know that you have experienced either from a friend, a buddy, a classmate, or you yourself? What's the most stupid shit you have done? Please comment down below. Let's start a conversation and let's share these fun experiences. Bottom line, do not do anything that's stupid that's gonna get you in trouble, all right? And make sure to smash that like button if you support the channel to help the channel grow. That's it for today. Hope you guys are having a great day and make sure to subscribe to get notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for today. Our chisel out.